do another example. I want to factor 12x squared minus 32x plus 5. All right. This time, again, I'm going to think about factoring out the greatest common factor. But this time, I see that there is nothing in common besides 1. So there's no common factor to factor out first. Instead, I'm going to notice a is equal to 12, b is equal to negative 32, and c is equal to 5. I take a times c, I get 12 times 5, which is 60. I need two numbers that multiply to 60 and at the same time add to negative 32. I go off to the side and I think about the ways to multiply to 60. 60 is 1 times 60 or 2 times 30 or 3 times 20 or 4 times 15 or 5 times 12 or 6 times 10. That would be 2 and 30. If I select negative 2 and negative 30, multiplying them together would give positive 60. Adding them together would give negative 32. Create my table. In the top I have 12x and 12x and in the bottom I put the two numbers I selected and then I simplify 12 over negative 2 leaves 6x minus 1. 12x over negative 30, when I simplify, I pull out a 6. 12 divided by 6 leaves 2x. Negative 30 divided by 6 leaves negative 5. And so the factors will be 6x minus 1, 2x minus 5. And so the original polynomial was 12x squared minus 32x plus 5 and that factors as 6x minus 1 times 2x minus 5. Here is the expanded version, and here is the factored version. I want to factor the trinomial 3x squared plus 5x plus 1. Our first step is always to try to factor out any greatest common factor of the three terms. And I see here that there is nothing in common between the three terms except 1. So I move on to identifying a is 3, b is 5, c is 1, and we'll find a times c. a times c in this case is 3 times 1, or just 3. I need to find two numbers that multiply to 3, and at the same time add to positive 5. Well, notice that 3 is equal to 1 times 3, and that's the only way we can get two positive integers to multiply to 3. But you can't get 3 and 1 to add up to 5. So in this case, we have just found that this is not factorable. 3x squared plus 5x plus 1 is not factorable.